It was a tough job, but we finally have Morello where we want him. Now one last step remains, eliminate him. In his sections of the city, there's theft, robbery, blackmail, illegal lotteries, gaming rooms, and whorehouses appearing all the time. But what's the biggest problem? Drugs? Horseshit. The problem is that we don't get a cent out of it. That'll change as soon as we get rid of Morello. His organization will collapse, and all those small-time cheats, thieves, and criminals will kill each other without anybody over there to maintain order. Today, we can finally remove that bastard once and for all. Paulie has come up with a plan. That's right. What my informants tell me, we have one chance to get this guy. Merlo watches his back and almost never shows himself in public. He goes everywhere in his bulletproof limo, clammed up like some seashell. But today, he's coming out. He's going to theater to do some socializing with the creme de la creme of Lost Heaven. And we'll be there to show him something too. Isn't this a bit risky? It's risky, but this is our only opportunity to waste him in public and show everyone our power. We'll do it like this. Wait in front of the building till the end of the show. People will start coming out, so there'll be a lot of confusion. With Morello trying to make his way out, his gorillas won't have much of a chance to notice us before we hit him. Make sure you don't draw any attention to yourselves, so no shooting. Pull your weapons when you see him. I hope I still recognize him. Shouldn't be hard. Well, likes to wear his white suits. Not many people wear them these days. Each of you get a Thompson or Lupara from Vincenzo. Wait out in front of the theater on Central Island until Morello comes out. Then go to it. The performance ends at 9 o'clock, so make sure you're there on time. It should work out fine, so don't come back without his head. Okay, boss. Let's get to it. Okay, here we go. It's going to be very interesting. <laughs> a lot going on this evening. Vincenzo, today we need some real heavy artillery. We're gonna rub out Morello. Well, I think 600 shots per minute from an old Tommy gun should do the trick. At the same time, we could stick to the ancient ways and use a more traditional Sicilian weapon for a job of this size. Oh, you're kidding me. I'm getting the Lepara, really. Okay. <laughs> like, the zombie gun is what kept us alive in many missions already, and we get the Lepara. Thanks, Vincenzo. Alright. Does Rolfi want to give us something? What did, do you need? Obviously not. Polly. Polly, this is a really bad joke. Could you just... Okay, I don't know how, but it worked. And it says maybe those NPCs will stay at the back row now. Sam and Polly? No. No. They're front rowers. <laughs> I know it. Creme de la creme. Hopefully we don't have to keep them alive again. 
I was I was a pain. Back in that park house garage thingy. Alright, it is Mr. Morello this time. It's not a small cookie now. Better make it count. Are you freaking kidding me? If I move on now, you're gonna be the first to actually arrest me because I drove over a red light. What is a boy's grill? Ah, should probably not ask. Shit! He's leaving already! Oh, you're yeah, gonna be so kidding me. That's silver limousine. Oh god. It's really starting with the freaking chase. Oh my. That was an innocent guy. Sam and Polly. Oh my. It's gonna be, it's gonna be... Nice. <laughs> How many innocent will die? There's no way they can even reach in there. Now! Shoot! That's why I got the Lupara. Because they just need like two or three hundred <laughs> shots. <laughs> oh. oh! Is he leaving the city? If he's not gonna turn left, he's leaving the city. Oh! You're gonna be freaking kidding me. He should have stayed in the city. He should have stayed there. What? The airport? No. Uh oh. What is it? What the hell is happening? Why'd you stop? Uh, I don't know. It just broke down. Jesus Christ, we almost have it. Sam, come on. Let's make this happen. Tom, get out. Go after them. Maybe you'll catch me. Nice. <laughs> Everything is running. Oh my god, he's gonna leave. He's gonna take a plane. Whoa. Okay, 
Yep, he's gonna leave. Is it that plane? It is. Oh! Oh my god. We're doing what? Hey, my Thompson. You and Sam shoot them. I gotta tell me we're good. We're good. <laughs> no way. Come on, you heap of junk. Hold on. Okay, I'm not even hitting it. Am I? Oh! What's that enough? Bastards! Sam, shoot! Kill him, Sam! Oh, shit! Damn it, Polly! Damn it! Oh, shit! Christ! We're in trouble! Damn it! Come on, we're going home! Christ. Wow, I can't believe they actually did a cutscene for for a game over here like that. Holy. Uh, and it says, earlier today when I was sipping Lipton lemon macaroon tea, I got a vision. I, it said that today is the day when Mafia 1 is complete. Oh. Oh. <laughs> You have high hopes, my friend. What is it? What the hell is happening? Why'd you stop? I don't know. It just broke down. Very high hopes. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I doubt it, to be honest, but, uh... We'll see. Okay, now I know uh, what to do. I need to shoot uh, the propellers. We'll shoot it down. Move it. They won't get away. Hey, my Thompson. You and Sam shoot them. So if we hurry, we can do it. Go, 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 go. Come on, you heap of junk. Hold on. Still. Oh my. Reloading, right? What? Bastards! Sam, shoot! Kill him, Sam! Oh, shit. Damn it, Polly. Damn it. Oh, shit. Maybe we gotta hit both. Uh, maybe, um, maybe each one of the of them can only go down like fifty percent. What is it? What the hell is happening? Why'd you stop? I don't know. It just broke down. So let's see if that's true. That's a good start, isn't it? Oh. 
Okay, now it should work. <laughs> hey, my Thompson! You and Sam shoot them! I feel like ignoring those two guys just until the last moment was a very good choice. Come on. Oh, Come it's, on, you heap of junk. it's down. Hold on. It's down. We did it. Oh. There's no way he's gonna he's gonna move anywhere. He's gonna drop down. Oh. Sam, shoot! Bastards! Kill him, Sam! Damn it, Polly! Wow. Yes! Yes! How did you fix the car? Better ask Sam. Why ain't you a mechanic, Sam? That works too dirty for me. <laughs> that works too dirty for you. Yeah, okay. I do see your point. We got him. That was cool. I enjoyed that. That was, uh... I feel like a bit cooler than actually finding a... L <laughs> finding a switch and a lever that will... make a wagon crash into a hall to find Sergio. Oh my god. I, I still have a trauma of that. I was so painful yesterday. <laughs> okay, how do we get... How did he actually come here? Okay, we should probably visit Lucas Bertone one more time. He's gonna have another call for us. At some point at least. Quite close to Lucas, actually. It's not that far from here. <sighs> By the way, guys, I've not decided yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've not decided yet on what to play afterwards. since there is not much activity on the straw pole or it's like tied up <laughs> so maybe I just have to figure it out <laughs> did you really say uncle wolfie oh that makes me feel old hey Tom I'm pretty beat Drop us at the front of the bar and come back later. Really? Gonna try it anyways. I still got some work today. I'll stop by after. Oh. You're gonna be kidding me, but he has some health here. Okay, let's 
let's drop them off first. I should be careful because if we get like a speeding ticket now, I will uh, I'll get out of the car with a fully loaded Thompson with a Tommy gun in front of two policemen, so we should <laughs> probably not do that. It may be bad. Not in that sense, says on it. In what sense then? <laughs> okay. <sighs> Acceleration with these cars. Almost there to drop off Pauline Sam. And then we're good to go. Tone. Through half the city again.
<laughs> Kitty cat, welcome to the stream. Uh, thanks for tuning in tonight. Yes, this music is pure childhood. I feel you, man. <laughs> Definitely is. Unfortunately, it will change every every now and then. Whenever we change, like the district. All right. Right now we're on. Uh, well, on the way to do a mission for Lucas Bertone again. Let's see what he has for us. I should probably get rid of one of these. Uh... Okay. Oh, please tell me we get this one. Tommy. <laughs> hey, you got anything for me today? Well, today was uh, a little rough. How come? Ah, uh, you know, the guy's left the car here that was involved in a chase with the cops, and uh, I kind of need to get it out of here fast. Why didn't they dump it themselves? Oh, uh, well, we had a deal worked out with them, but uh, it was meant to be a short thing, and it didn't work out. They were a little pissed, so they left it here. What's in it for me? A lovely German sports car. That's worth the risk. I'll do it. What can I do? That's pretty simple. Take the car to the cliffs outside of town and dump it in the sea. Cool. But if the <laughs> coppers spot you, there'll be trouble, so you gotta shake them. Okay. Okay. Maybe we should have brought both weapons now. <laughs> now that I think about it. Uh, Kitty Cat says, that's fine, all the music is my childhood. Spent way too much time on this game, but I don't remember much except the music. And that is exactly... Exactly what, what happened to me. Like, I still got the music in mind, uh, but I, I didn't remember, like, most of the missions. Some, like, specific parts were still in my mind, like, uh, for example, the... Uh, the whole hotel thing? The hotel mission and the um, Morello plane section, but um, despite that, not so much. Oh shit! So um, that's why it's actually super cool to get back into this and do it. I mean, obviously sometimes controls are a bit clunky, stuff like that, aiming and accuracy. But it still feels good to be back, and the game is quite old, so I'd say it aged pretty well. It's totally fun to be back in this, that's for sure. Alright, we don't need the speed limiter since we're wanted in this car. <laughs> um, should probably avoid police at all. How do we dump it though? That's gonna be interesting. We can't jump out of a, of a running car, right? Well. Oh oh! Oh god. Okay. Okay. Let's see how that will... Yes, thanks. I was a bit slow there. Thank you. Oh, the police is just helping you. <laughs> Your friendly neighborhood culprit! Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Can you get says OMG, the, the police car sounds. Yes, they're... Oh my god. That's another one, isn't it? Okay. I guess we're doing this. 
Yes, it is very authentic, right? Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Police methods of 1920. What is that supposed to do? This is hilarious. Whoa! <laughs> Would you like to... What? You gotta be kidding me! No. I'm stuck now. Are you freaking kidding me? Tommy, they're one meter away. You can't hit them. Oh, that that's what I mean, like, accuracy-wise. You literally put the gun onto the policeman and you don't hit him. Uh, okay, we're getting closer. What do we do? <clears throat> Would have been easier to pay a ticket. Yeah, if that was an option, but not with this uh, stolen car. That's a problem. They had a- oh yes, they had a traffic accident. I should be happy about it, but I am. <laughs> okay, how, how do we do this? Um... Oh shit, one is still there. They're really shooting at me. out okay one more push one more push I'll probably fall down. What? Okay, seriously. <laughs> I want to see that. That is not happening. What? Kit says you're gonna have to die with it. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, that's game over then. I would like to avoid that. Come on, come on. No, no. Yes. <laughs> okay, we should probably screenshot that. Like, what happened here? Uh. Okay. 
worked. It worked out, guys. That is... That is what matters. Two policemen were just drunk and were not able to take the break. Tried to run into the lighthouse. That's how it ended. Okay. Let's get back. And it says, what do you mean by that's not happening? If you think about how this playthrough has went so far, then it's clear that that would have happened. Yes, I agree, but... Well, sometimes, sometimes a boy can dream, right? <laughs> that was one of these moments. Oh. <clears throat> well, it just worked out somehow. That's, that's what matters. Now we're gonna get our German car. I'm very curious what car that will be. And uh, then we're gonna go and head for the next mission. Which will be interesting since like the biggest player, um, the biggest antagonist, Morello, is gone now. What? What will we do? Oh, I do remember how we've been here in the hotel. Climbing on the rooftops to the church and actually killing <laughs> killing the guys uh, Including the one that actually survived the whole chase earlier oh, Inside the church That was, that was some, something Quite something Yeah, yeah I'm going first. Right, what car will it be? Kitty Cat says the music is so good. It is. It was a shame uh, when they brought this game to GOG that uh, it didn't include the music. I was like, that's probably half the game, right? So I'm glad there was a way to get it back into it. All right, now my German car, please. Okay, where's the car? That guy came in for it a while ago and drove off. But he said he was going to dinner at Roy's Grill. It's downtown, it's just a little way from Pepe's restaurant. Hey, if you hurry, you'll still find a car there. What's going on, today's customer appreciation day? This one's an exception. He owes me big time. I did a bunch of jobs for him and I haven't seen dollar one. God knows what he does, but at the same time, he acts like a classy guy. Now this way, he pays his debts and I pay my debt to you. You better get going. Right. Thanks. Oh, Mercedes Benz. 450k Roadster. That sounds good. Let's get that one A so. If he uh, will give up the car without any resistance, can't imagine that will be the case. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, look at this! Please tell me it's this one. shooting at me 
Well, so much to no resistance. <laughs> <clears throat> Car. Uh, what happened here? Okay, I'm not asking. Nice car. This is definitely not necessary in this game. Half the game. All right. Back in Little Italy, and on the way till the next mission. We should probably get rid of one or two cars there. Because I feel like we may have too many. This one definitely needs a special place. What did, do you need? Okay, what can we possibly get rid of? Standard six. What do, do you need? Uh... <laughs> Definitely of this one. It's not even here. I feel like that one is a good, good one for missions where we need some protection. Nineteen thirty-eight. 
So, you killed Morello. That must have felt good, huh? We celebrated. Salieri was thrilled, of course. We ran the whole town, practically, and there seemed to be an end to the bloodshed. For a while, I felt like a king, until I came to a realization. If a regular guy like me could kill the most powerful man in the city, what good was all his power? Hell, if he hadn't been so powerful, he'd probably still be alive. It seemed to me that no matter how strong someone was, there was always somebody stronger to take them out. So where did that intuitive thought take you? Greediness is bullshit. When you have no money, you think that a few bucks a month will be enough. Then you realize that it wouldn't be bad to have a nice car. You'd get a great job in some high up position, but in actuality, you're thinking about going higher. Before you know it, you want to be the president of the United States and you want to win the war against the Germans. Luckily, that won't happen. Plus, the whole strategy of watching other people's backs has one basic flaw. The whole time you have to watch your own back in case someone else has the same idea. So I thought to myself, that maybe I ought to change my priorities a little. Great Bible story. <laughs> Laugh it up. You know where it got me in the end. This. Who is it? It's from 1920. The old man is Don Pepone. The two younger ones are Salieri and Morello. This photo convinced me that this kind of life is poisonous. Morello and Salieri were friends, and they were both commanders of Pepone's regime. But in the 1920s, they got Don Pepone killed because of some deal. Strangely enough, Salieri still admires the guy now. Afterward, they divided up the city, and each ruled their own part of it. But they started to compete with each other. I ended up being Salieri's instrument of death to kill his best friend to save him from looking Morello in the eye. It occurred to me that my friends and the people I loved were the same. Someday I'd turn to Polly and be looking straight down the barrel of a gun. I couldn't be sure of anybody, above or below me. But you were risking your life every day. Being a sharpshooter for the Mafia ain't no better roses the way you tell it. It's different when you're living it, when you're full of energy and you're fighting for your life with someone who's like your brother. You're just two soldiers who know what needs to be done. And it all depends on your ability to survive. It's a war. The constant feeling that you can't even trust your best friend is terrible. You are alone, and death can come from anywhere. I'd lie awake at night wondering if the joke my best friend told me was really just a joke, or if I should get prepared for my own execution. A person needs someone he can trust. 